exercise 18. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the functionality in Creo with regards to family tables. In an earlier one, we actually took a look at we uh, on exercise 16, we actually ended up taking an existing part and modifying it into uh, two different configurations. In this exercise, we're actually going to create a part from scratch. It's just a very simple box with a hole in it and create multiple configurations for that um, using the family tables tool. So let's begin by drawing a 3x5 rectangle. Let's start a new part. And we'll call this E18. Go to extrude and select the front plane. Now if you've watched my videos over the course in the very beginning, most of the time I start with the sketch and then I go to the extrude. Um, in the original version of ProE, it was really intended to go first, pick your feature first, and then go, it would automatically drop you into a sketch, then you hit the green check mark and you're done. And it leaves one less marker on the feature tree. Um, but going this route, you can actually uh, do it as well. Uh, whichever one's easier for you though nowadays is pretty much what I recommend. Okay, I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and then drag out a rectangle here. And it's going to be 3 I by 5 inches wide. Let's lay the dimensions out a little bit even nicer there. And I'm going to hit the OK button. And we're going to go ahead and make that. Two inches thick. Hit apply. All right, now go to extrude and select this front face, and let's put in a circle in the lower left there, and we're going to offset it one inch by one inch, and then it's going to be diameter. 0.75. Hit OK. Flip the direction and make sure you select Remove Material and you can put in Through All, which is extrude to intersect with all surfaces. Apply. I'm going to turn off my planes and now with what I have up here, I could go ahead and we're going to go ahead and insert. Uh, family tables. So we go to Tools and Family Table. Now up here we're just going to go ahead and click on Insert New Instances. Click on one, two, three, and a fourth one we'll add here. And let's change the instance name. So for E18, the very first one, we'll call this Small. The second one will be MED for medium. The third one will be MED underscore no underscore hole. Oops, backspace there. Okay, so it's going to be the same size, but the hole is going to be missing out of that one. Okay, now the last one will just be the large box. And you could really name them anything. I'm just going to make it, put that in there so I which one's which. Okay. And then at um, this point, we're going to go ahead and add delete lead to the table column. So let's hit the green, that little button there, and bring this over. Now we have dimensions and features that we're interested in here. Notice there's patterns and other entities as well. But we'll go ahead and we'll go with the dimensions first. So click on this and select the 5 inch dimension. It should drop in there. Yours might say D1 or D2, D3, whatever. And then click on the 3 inch dimension and then the 2 inch dimension. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the features and just select the surface of the hole for that extrusion. And now we can go ahead and hit OK. And it should have plugged in D2, D1, D0, and then the extrude. Now this, um, for the D2, 
the small is going to be 3 inches by 2. And then the um, thickness will make it 1. And then we type in, or we can hit this little arrow here and select, yes, we do want to see the extruded feature, which is that hole. Go to the next one, and it's actually going to be the 5 by 3 by 2, which is our default there. And yes, you want to see the hole. And this one's the same, 5 by 3 by 2, with the exception, we don't want to see the hole. So we select N for now, or you can type it in. And this last one is just going to be 7 by 4 and by 3. And yes, we do want to see the hole. Now we just have to evaluate it. And so right here, verify. Go ahead and select that. And it should list them all. Just hit verify. And hopefully you've got success in all these. If not, just double check. Make sure you don't have any um, other instances of or characters in there that might cause an error. Go ahead and hit close. And hit OK. And now it's just a matter of going to, let's say if we just open up the same file. File open. And go in session here. And there's my E18 part. When I open it, watch what it does. It allows me to select which configuration I want to bring in. So if I select the E18 large and open, there's the larger box. And you can see the 7 by 4 inch dimension. Let's go back to open. And we'll go back to session, E18 part, open. And let's go with the small. And there's a small box, 3 by 2. And then let's go to open. So essentially, it, you just could open up the original and select which one you want. So it's really just like an Excel spreadsheet virtually. And you just type it in values for each one. And so I'll go with medium, no hole. And then the hole's gone. Okay, and that concludes exercise 18.